Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Uh, you'll notice that the black Mustang that was here before is gone. I finished it up and got it out of here. It only made me about 40 grand, so it wasn't really very uh, satisfying. This car I have finished. Uh, it came, as you recall, from the from the showroom, uh, from the salon, as they call it in the game. I took the engine out and I replaced everything that wasn't a performance part with a performance part. And you can see there like the, the red coils and the red fuel filter and the shiny exhaust ma shiny intake manifold and the red throttle and so on, but the pistons and the transmission and the clutch and everything is all performance now. Which made the value of the car go from 142,000 to 100. Well, actually, I had the value at about 190, but I replaced the tires. I replaced the wheels with. Uh, I actually went online and I looked up the Nissan 370Z and found out the actual wheel sizes and tire sizes that one of these cars would have had new and I bought wheels and tires that matched those sizes which reduced the value that it had with the other rims that were on it so go figure I still like the look of these but I, mm, I'm not super happy with these rims uh, but I, mean, I, I suppose I could keep fooling, fooling with it and buying different rims and putting them on it to see what it looks like but uh, I think I've spent enough time fussing with this car, so I'm going to put it away. And now, since we're completely cleared out, we're going to go to the junkyard. Alright, and here we are in the junkyard, and we are not starting off well. Okay, well here's something. Try and guess what this is. This is an MR2, I think. No, at least S1. It, it would seem like it might be an exciting choice, but this car actually doesn't sell for very much. Car value is only five thousand eight hundred eighty bucks so it's not really that exciting I might pick it up if there's nothing else here and what are we is this is this a Diablo or a, a hur hur hurricane I don't recall if I have done one of them or not it's got to be more interesting than the Elise though Celica. I see a lot of these Celicas in here. Well, I'm gonna... I hate to reset it, but I'm gonna reset it. Okay, here we are again. Oh, good. There's, there's something, at least. You, you are a 911 America, 911 RS. I will definitely buy that, even if I don't actually work on it, at least this time. This is another GTR. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. This is a Nomad. Chevy Nomad Gasser. This is a mod I recently downloaded, and this is the first time I've seen one. So, we'll definitely be picking this up. And 
that looks like a Salem Kirin. Yep. And is this another Reptilia? Or is this the Corvette? This is the Corvette. I was kind of disappointed with this mod. I mean, look, you see in there that there's actually a body piece that fills all of this stuff in. I demonstrated that once before. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy this car. Okay, cool. So we have two cars now. We can go back and get to work. Okay, cool. Let's see what we've got to work with here. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is going to be one of the, this is going to be one of those ones. And this must be like a race version. I can tell already. Yeah, it's got slick tires on it, so it's definitely a race car. So it has seat 11 leather A. What kind of steering wheel was that? I need to sort this stuff. I also have a buttload of cases to go through. Maybe I'll do that for Christmas. Sell this, sell that, and sell that. Steering wheel 8. Okay, this will be the exciting part. It looks like most of the pieces are stock. Is that right? Stocked windows, st tail light, mirror. Why did I buy two of those? That was stupid. Oh, I see it's not chopped. So stock, stock, tail light, mirror. Window, headlight, window. I bought two headlights for some stupid reason. So, the fender, door, and body.
probably... No, no, that's not what I meant to do. I should probably be looking at this. Okay, nothing is... There aren't, there aren't any A's or B's or anything. I saw something interesting there. Um, no, that would, that's more work than I want to do at this point. Okay, so let's get back to... What did I buy? I did buy the fenders and doors. So this can go and this can go. Left rear fender. I assume these bumpers and the front the front end. Front bumper. I'm gonna have to start putting things onto this car just to see what all, what all is what. I thought I bought mirrors. I guess not. And what is that? Front end? Aha! Mirror. Left side mirror. So it, it is going to take... I'm going to have to look. I think it's just a regular hood. Yes, it is. So Nomad hood. I need another plate. Man, I could have sworn I bought the mirrors. Maybe I just thought about it while I was buying the lights. Ah, okay. So that rear rear bumper there is that rear bumper is like all the trim pieces too. What is this? What is this that I still need? Left and right rear doors. Okay. I guess that's a hundred percent body, so hmm. And I want to do the same thing here quickly.
Oh no, come on. I, so I need to be 9-11 America. That'll screen out the other parts. Looks a lot more like a car now, doesn't it? This should be 100%. Yep. I'll go over there and throw some paint on it real quick. Wow, the factory color is not too bad, actually. I was going to put the RS livery on it. Can you even see it? Is, th is there a white version? There is. Let's try that. Yeah, it looks alright. And that's all I'm going to do on this car for now. And I have all this junk to get rid of. Okay. Anybody remember how much I paid for this car? <laughs> I forgot already. But the value is 74 grand now, and that's not too bad for a car that is mechanically junk, even if it's cosmetically very pretty. You could sit in it and make vroom vroom noises, but that's it. I did put a battery in it, so maybe you could turn the radio on. <laughs> but uh, now we can get to work on this car, which is the... Boy, that didn't even lift it. Is it going to go up? Not too hip on this. Yeah, look how. Uh, boy, that's weird. Well, that 
the heck did I just do? Take this off. Okay, now... Muffler D. Don't have it here. I think that front pipe we actually do have there, though. And what was that again? V8OHV? Yeah, we do have that. Well, that at least is well put together. Those pipes connect perfectly. heads on it. I think I saw a spark plug. Or was that... No, that was on the Porsche engine. Um, and there's rod caps and stuff down here. So this engine has a bit more to it than most of the ones I usually see from the junkyard. Take a look at what we have so far. Okay, brakes. Let's do the brakes. Oh yeah, this is a coil spring. This is a leaf spring we ran, but it didn't have didn't have drum brakes. For some reason, I was thinking drum brakes. I don't know why.
Let's see, shock B. I think I'll go ahead and dismount these tires. 36% on that wheel. I think we'll be able to repair both of these. Yeah, not too bad. Everything except the gearbox, which is a bummer. You have to sell it for scrap value. Let's go ahead and try uh, chroming the rims too, just for grins. Okay, and how big are these wheels? They're pretty big. 285, 70, 15. Look at that, that's nearly $4,000 for those tires. Okay, now we can throw this stuff back in.
Ah, I didn't move this thing. Is the welder still sitting there? It is. Let's move that too. Well, that looks pretty. What color is this car supposed to? What what color is this car supposed to be? What is that kind of a lavender? No, we're not doing that. Let's see about these front the front end here. Yeah, that actually came apart pretty quick. Kind of impressed. Let's get the engine out. everything out, but I haven't actually replaced anything yet. Okay, so eight bushings. And I know I need shock absorber A. Hubs and sway bars. What front sway bar is it? B. Okay, so that's suspension arms. We'll make a stab at repairing those. Let's dismount the tires. 31% on that rim. Hmm, 
repaired both of the rims on the again there. That's pretty good. These slick t these tires seem awfully small. These were how big? These were really large. Just have to see what it looks like. I mean, they they were clearly small when I looked at them on the car before I took it all off. But uh, I mean, the the back wheels were 15 inches, also, weren't they? Those are 170, 65, 15. That's right, wasn't it? I guess we'll find out in a second. Now 170. You know what? I'm just going to go with the 175. for this wheel to finish. Okay, now... I am hearing thunder outside. That's disturbing. Where I live, whenever there's thunder, invariably my power goes off briefly. And that's incredibly frustrating when you're in the middle of doing something. Since there's nothing I can do about it, I just have to keep plugging along and hope I can finish before something happens. Okay, no excess parts in my inventory. I want to paint this car because I didn't paint it before. Oh yeah, that's unpleasant. The, the car that's in here, 
that that's a good color. I like that. I wonder if it's a livery. I bet it is. Oh, so there's the racing livery, I guess, for this car. Oh, that's all it has. All right, well we're we're gonna, we're gonna do the red, and let's give it, make it a little bit. Yeah, let's go with that. Yes, yes, I like that a lot. If this, I wish this was a regular car instead of a race car, because uh, since I downloaded this mod, this is the first time I've seen one of these. And I really am not fa a fan of this lifted front end it's got going on here. But now we need to take this thing apart and throw away a lot of it. Must be, yeah, there's something there. We'll pause in that momentarily to get rid of the things here that we know we're not going to use. The water pump we might be able to repair. Might be able to repair the intake manifold. We're not going to use the distributor or this power steering pump. Okay, here we are. Let's take a look at it. It says Nomad there. You can see that logo on the door. It's very dark out here. It's a very dark color. I would think I, I would like it to be flashier if it were me. The mod looks good though. I mean the the styling and everything is all there. Let's see how fast it is. The supercharged OHV isn't as powerful as the uh, DOHC super. The DOHC it's trying. Ooh, it's trying hard to pull to the left. The supercharged V8 DOHC is a more powerful engine than the OHV one. Stay in the stay on your lane. I think 172 was as fast as we got. I kind of got distracted there when I was trying to show it from the front and it started to drift away. Look how the look how low that is. Okay, so we've re completely rebuilt the car, we sat in it, we drove it, and I don't particularly want to keep it, so let's see how much it's worth. Yeah, that's disappointing. 47 and 9, call it about 48, no, 49,000. No, more than that, what am I thinking? 9 and 7 is... Uh, 16, carry the one, 56,000. 56,000 and change. That's, 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 uh, 
disappointing. I was hoping for more. Okay, so... So that, uh, we'll go ahead and bring this episode to a close. If you, if you made it this far, I pre uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. At least we actually went to the junkyard and found some stuff this time. Uh, which we will do again next time. So I hope to see you again for our next junkyard adventure. I will probably get this 911 done in, in, in between episodes and then show you guys what it looks like when it's finished. Um... But that, of course, is for another time. So, let's see if I can center this nicely. There we go. That's not too bad. On that note, bye for now.